dealing with somebody, right? You promoted the shit out the song. <sighs> you shot a video to wee hours of the morning when you have a young child. You go hard on a social media campaign begging this person up. You spend hours talking to the person on the phone, giving them tips and pointers. You tell the person, hey, I even planned a couple of things for you for your album rollout, etc." Now keep in mind, listen to this. Onika Tanya Mirage currently that you know of, because I have some in the, you know, it's happening, but currently that you know of, you don't know Nikki to have signed any female rappers, right? So when I blow these girls up or help or help, because I know, I know that I, know, I can't make anybody, you know, one person can't make anybody. And even with the girls that were on the Queen Mix, um, I was just talking to one of them earlier and I was like, you know, you, I can't change your life. You know, when people be like, oh my God, this is about to change my life. This is not going to change your life. Hard work consistently changes your life with great talent to match and, and, and a little bit of luck and a little bit of timing and, and, and God's favor. Okay? Always know that. Oh, so I didn't finish the story. So I was telling you guys about a story after I had done all of this for one particular person, right? I put out another song and I find out with receipts that this person is already talking about me. Hit another artist and told them, oh, why she couldn't wait to put out her new song? She's doing this on purpose to me. She, um, she's subbing me because she posted where her new song was on iTunes. Do you know how fucking hurtful that is? To tell someone that had nothing to gain from supporting you. To talk that nasty about them. You are disgusting. You, you know, and you'll never fucking pop. That's why you have a nasty, dirty, stinking, disgusting heart. And I still forgave you. I still forgave you. Didn't I follow you? Didn't tell the timeline? Nothing. I just sit down and watch. Oh.